I used to have so many ideas about what relaxing meant. Like, if I wanted to relax, then I needed to have no thoughts. That felt like the most relaxing idea. And I could just like or go into a hot bath, go turn on the bath, sit in the bath and just think about absolutely nothing. And that was how I could relax. But the problem was, was that every time I like made this whole situation for me to be able to relax, like go turn on the hot bath and just sit in it, I never had no thoughts. You know, it was just like, I'm going to sit in the bath and then all of a sudden, doo -doo 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 -doo, the thoughts just rolling, rolling by. I was like, oh, this is not relaxing. I cannot relax with all of this barrage of thoughts. And going to sleep at night time, this also felt like I can't wait all day. I can't wait to go to sleep tonight. I am so tired. All I want to do is go to bed, relax, go to sleep. And then as soon as my head hits the pillow, boom. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> Just like a barrage of, of thoughts and things that I need to do. Regrets, fears, mainly negative. So no matter sort of what situation I put myself in that seems like it should provide me with a relaxing mind, I never was able to stop the thoughts. And this is because we cannot stop the thoughts. We can't stop the data. The thoughts, emotions, sensations, they will always appear. However, we can relax as those thoughts. We can completely relax. And we see that we don't actually need to do anything. We don't need to try to stop the thoughts. So this is just like opens up a whole world of opportunities to relax because we see we don't need to have a certain situation to make us feel relaxed. We can be relaxed in every single moment of life. Whether we're sitting in the hot bath, whether we're lying in bed, or whether we're super busy sitting in a, on, a, on a computer, standing in a shopping centre, it doesn't matter. Complete relaxation is obvious. This is our natural state. This is how we're meant to live, completely relaxed all the time. And short moments, taking short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times, makes complete relaxation obvious. When you go and you look up, if you go outside today and you look up at the sky and you, you know you have this really strong sense, it's inexhaustible sky, inexhaustible. You don't get to like some point where you're going to hit a roof and you can't go up any further. Sky is inexhaustible. This is who we are. This is what mind is. This is what open intelligence is. Inexhaustible benefit. Inexhaustible relaxation. The relaxation just deepens with every short moment we take. All worrying, all confusion, just disappears like a line drawn in water. It leaves no trace. All data streams, like a flight path of a bird in the sky, they leave no trace. We don't need to do anything about any of them. Everything completely inseparable from open intelligence. Everything that we experience, no matter how intense it is, completely inseparable from open intelligence. We don't need to do anything about any data that we feel. And I know for myself, I, I really spent a whole lifetime trying to change myself and trying to change other people. I really wanted everybody to be different. <laughs> I, wanted to, I wanted everybody to, to be in a certain way so that I would only experience positive data streams when I'm around them. And I had many strategies and techniques to try to make people change. Especially being in an intimate relationship. 
I really, really, you know, wanted him to be different. I actually found a book that I had a list of all of the ways that I want him to change in order for me to be happy. <laughs> I found it a few years ago. And it is so relaxing and such a relief to really know experientially that nobody needs to, to change in order for me to experience relief, relaxation, stability, empowerment. Nobody needs to change. Every, I can take responsibility for everything that's going on for me. And this is the most benefit that we can be to the world, to all of our loved ones. We just take responsibility for ourselves. We see that everything is occurring for us. Wanting other people to change, this is happening for us. And we can use the four mainstays to clarify that. This is the only way to have healthy relationships. This is the only way to support other people. Is first seeing that everything that we experience is completely perfect. Seeing that we don't need to change ourselves. And when we experience that for ourselves, we stop trying to change other people because we're stopping to try to change ourselves. You cannot have a healthy relationship when you're constantly trying to change other people. I've seen this very directly in my intimate relationship. I had the same relationship before I was using the Four Mainstays. And every single night, we, had, we sat together and we had a conversation and tried to work out a way that he could change and a way that I could change in order for us to be happy together. And now, seven years later, every single thing that I wanted to change about him, I absolutely love now. It's just no problem. There's just no problem. Whatever he is, this is, this is just perfect. And we, this, the conversations just stopped. We just stopped. We just stopped needing to have those conversations because we both took responsibility for ourselves. We both used the four mainstays and we took responsibility for ourselves. And by prioritizing the four mainstays in our lives, so this just empowers every relationship. And it's very contradictory to how we learnt relationships are empowered previously. Because before we learnt that we have to work on the relationship. You want to empower a relationship, you want to have a good relationship, you need to talk to each other, you need to work it out, you need to, you know, sort out all of the data, try to make each other have positive data about each other, and then this will provide a good relationship. But this, uh, this never worked for me. I tried years and years and years of doing that and it never worked. However, now I can just completely allow myself to experience hatred, to experience anger, to experience confusion. And nothing affects my relationship anymore because I'm not blaming him for what I'm experiencing. I take responsibility for it. Spontaneous data just appearing, no longer needing to understand why it's there. Just don't need to understand any of it. Just applying the solution of using the four mainstays. And then you see that all relationships are just just there, the purpose of relationships is so that we can support each other to live a life of benefit to all. So instead of spending our energy trying to change each other, trying to provide ourselves with positive data, we spend, each, we spend our energy empowering each other to live a life of benefit and just loving each other, laughing together. And that's what we see in the community. That's why it's so powerful to be in the community because data comes up all the time about wanting to change each other, being in service, wanting people to have this reaction but they have that reaction. 
And in the community, we just see that actually we can just let everybody be as they are. We let ourselves be as we are. We let everybody be as they are. And then we take it to all of our relationships with it in our lives. <coughs> Mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, loved ones. We allow everyone to be as they are. And it's like, you know, two people are playing tennis. One person puts down the bat. The other person has nobody to play with anymore. And that's what taking a short moment is. You're just putting down the bat. You're just, you're just stopping to play this game. And nobody actually wants to play that game of arguing and micromanaging and fighting with each other. No one actually wants to do that. Everyone wants to live a life of benefit. Everyone wants to recognize how amazing they are. Everyone wants to love each other completely. So we just exemplify that and people can't, it's contagious, it's so contagious. People, everyone just gets swept up in it. And I mean, this is how I've always wanted to relate in my life. This is what I've always wanted to do in every moment of my life is to have completely harmonious, beautiful, loving relationships. So it's very, it's very powerful to focus on what works. What provides these results? And to, for me, I, all I can see is that the four mainstays, being in close touch with my trainer, showing up to trainings, whatever they are, to come to the open meetings, to listen to talks, to be around the community and to take short moments. This has provided me with ev all of the results, everything that I've always wanted in my life. And so this is just what I keep the focus on and this is what I do. And it has nothing to do with anything else. I just focus on the four mainstays because it works and it's just so simple. Just do what works. I was thinking like I really want to um, learn how to sew. I really want to use it, learn to use a sewing machine. So I'm obviously going to do some research, find a community of people who know how to sew. I'm going to find a teacher who knows how to sew. I'm not going to go to a teacher who um, doesn't know how to use a sewing machine. I'm going to find a teacher who knows how to sew. I'm also going to find a teacher who, can, who has the ability to be able to teach others to know how to sew. Because what's the point in going to a teacher who doesn't know how to teach others. He might be a really good teacher, but if he doesn't know how to provide a community of sewers, so then that's no use to me. I'm going to practice sewing, short moments of sewing. And so this is just what the four mainstays are. We have trainers who know how to communicate open intelligence to everybody who uses the four mainstays. Not only to some people, but to everybody. The tra a trainer is available for you to show you how for you can recognize it in your own experience. And this is what we want. We don't want to go and talk about open intelligence. We don't want to listen about open intelligence if we're not experiencing it for ourselves. This is the important part and this is what's so brilliant about the Four Mainstays, is that the Four Mainstays guarantees that it becomes our experience. And then wherever we go in the world, whatever we do, whoever we speak with, whether they're using the Four Mainstays or they're not using the Four Mainstays, it, it doesn't matter anymore. Because we are taking responsibility for everything that's occurring for us, for all of our data, we're taking responsibility for that. <laughs>